Okay, can you hear me now? Type if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Type in the chat if you can hear me. Okay, good. Uh, good enough. Does that mean I need to raise it a little bit? All right, how's this? Is that too loud? Maybe that's too loud. How's that? Lower? Okay. So, like this? Can you hear me like this? All right, we're good. We're good to go. So I'm doing this on a PS3, unfortunately. I do not like the PS3. Um, I tried doing it on my PS2, but the PS2 would not connect to my Elgato, so this is not going to work properly. Um, so... That's how this is going to be. Okay, there may be a little background noise just because I live in an apartment with some other people, so there may be something. Yeah, because the dead souls all over Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, sharing Xeno Gears. Um, this is a public stream. This is specifically meant for um, some friends of mine, but if anyone else is watching, hello. Go, so come watch me play Xeno Gears. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Xeno Gears uh, was the first game that Tetsuya Takahashi um, directed. This was the PlayStation. This was from back when he uh, was part of Square. Back before he got a Xenoblade 3 East update. Nice. Um, this is before Takahashi and his team ended up splitting off and creating Monolith Soft, which created the Xeno, the rest of the Xeno games, Xeno Saga and Xeno Blade. Uh, this was the first game he directed, Xeno Gears. Um, and it serves as basically the backbone of the entire Xeno series. Um, by the way, it's a cool opening. Every every other story of the Xeno series owes something to Xeno Gears. Uh, it's a great RPG. It has a wonderful, wonderful story. A really, like I can't even stress enough, a really amazing story. Um, it has its problems, definitely, and I think that overall, uh, you all will be getting the better end of the stick because Xeno Gears is one of the very few games that I would argue is better to watch than it is to play. You get more out of it if you watch it than play it, because Xeno Gears is honestly not a very fun game to play, and there are many reasons for that that we'll be getting into. Um, it doesn't have great gameplay, but it's still 100% worth it because the story is great. Um, it has some cool gameplay mechanics, even if it isn't super fun to play. 
Um, and as amazing music, it's Yasunori Mitsuda, the same uh, composer of Xenosaga 1 and Xenoblades 2 and 3. It's the same person that did this and many other games. Mitsuda is a legend. He's one of the greatest video game composers of all time. Um, yeah. Yeah, like being the backbone for the rest of the game. Um, yeah, it's going to start an opening cinematic here. I don't want it to do that quite yet. Because that's going to play at the beginning of a new file anyway. I'll keep talking a little bit here. Um, yeah, it's still worth playing. Or still worth at least experiencing. Um, I'm going to, at some point, create a more regular schedule for these streams whenever I can kind of start getting into the school year and see how things are going to end up turning out. Um, but for now, we're streaming this now, and I kind of want to try to do two times a week, uh, a four or five hour stream, try to get through as much of the game as I can. Anyway, there's a lot more I want to say about Xenogears, because that has a really fascinating um, development cycle. There's a long story behind how it was developed, how it was written, behind its story, and all of this. Um, but I'll just, I'll get into more of that later. I just want to say now, it is very, very much worth playing. Um, because you get to, you get a whole new perspective on the rest of the series from knowing Xenogears. And I'll say one more thing before we begin. Xenogears is notorious for being very, very complicated. Its story, its story is fantastic but it's it's very complex it's filled with lots of references to philosophy and psychology and religion and it's very dense there's a lot of terminology there's a lot of names it's a very deep and complex story i will be doing my best i've done a, quite a bit of research on this game this is my third time playing this game um i'll be doing my best to try to guide y'all through the story as, as best I can, but if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, you definitely will have questions as time goes on. But if you can actually comprehend the story, if you comprehend the totality of it, then it's very, very much worth it. Anyway, long spiel over. Let's get right into it. Let's get into a new game. And I will be... I'll be reading some of the dialogue, but I will not be um, talking during the full motion cutscenes. So. But I will say this line is a reference to the book of Revelation from the Bible. Central, access confirmed. Initializing fake net. Disconnected. Activating emergency shelter. Deny. Contamination is spreading widely. Captain. Cut off the cables manually. Roger. Activating self-destruct bolts. Confirming. No good, nothing happened. Omega-1, they are attacking. We can't stop them. 98% of our weapons have been taken over. The autopilot system Faust has been accessed, and its phase space logic is being rewritten. Ergo area is increasing. An internal plane is forming. Switching to space displacement mode. Alpha-1, confirming transfer of coordinate codes. Coordinate input, coordinate NX-128, EZ-061. The main planet. 
Damn. So they're planning on attacking. Engine room. Activate the emergency sealing system. Engine room. Engine room. Civilians and passengers are safely transported to the escape shuttles. I will send a dispatch after evacuation is complete. I am evacuating the ship. All of you, evacuate now. Evacuate. Evacuate. Evacuate the ship immediately. All passengers please board the shuttles in a calm and orderly fashion. the music here so much. The continent of Ignis, in the northern hemisphere of our world. On this, the largest continent, a war has been raging between two countries for hundreds of years. In the north of the continent lies the Kislev Empire, in the south lies the desert kingdom of Ave. The war has gone on for so long that people have forgotten the cause, and only the pointless circle of hostility and tragedy. The chronic war obsession was soon to encounter a devastating change, is due to the ethos, an institution that preserves our world's culture, repairing tools and weapons excavated from the ruins of an ancient civilization. At once, both countries excavated these ruins and had the ethos repair the discoveries in order to increase their military. The various weapons excavated from the ruins clearly changed the form of warfare. The outcome of the battles between the two countries is no longer determined by man-to-man -man combat, but by gears, giant humanoid fighting machines, obtained from people in the ruins. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Also, game audio is better. Okay. How is this? And yeah, Chrono Trigger, it's the same, um, Yasunori Mitsuda is it's the same composer for Chrono Trigger. There are actually some Chrono Trigger references in the game, too. Okay, how is this? Better? Okay. Okay. Eventually, after continuous swings in the state of the war, Kislev gained the upper hand. 
The major factor behind this lay in the enormous difference in the amount of resources buried within their ruins. But suddenly, a mysterious military port of, of force appeared on the continent of Ignis. Called Gebler, this force decided to make contact with Ale. With the assistance of this Gebler military force, Ave was able to recover from being hopelessly outnumbered to being back on an even standing with Kislev. Then, taking further advantage of its newly gained momentum, Ave started to capture one territory after another in Kislev, showing no indication of slowing down in their invasion campaign. The remote village of Lahan, in the outskirts of Ave, near the border with Kislev. This is where it all begins. His liver tennis. Yeah, you're already seeing some of the, um, the correlations with this. Damn you. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. One down. What on earth are you? No matter how much, how often I knock you down, you still get up. Fay, stop! You must not fight here. God, boy, are you persistent. Why did it have to come to this? Phew, that about does it. All right, now for a short break. All right, that was quite an opening. Um, so I'll talk more about my thoughts on all of that. We get kind of a break, but anyway, we're introduced to our protagonist. This is Fei Fong Wong. Um, we can jump, we can run around. So uh, this game, as you can see, you can turn the camera. It's effectively the opposite, as far as graphical style is, it's effectively the opposite of Final Fantasy VII. Whereas Final Fantasy VII had um, 3D uh, character models on 2D rendered backgrounds, Xenogears has 2D rendered character models on 3D backgrounds, which means that we're able to turn the camera, unlike in Final Fantasy VII, unless you're in the overall Final Fantasy VII. Uh, but yeah, we can turn the camera, really. That'll be something we're going to be making use of a lot. Also, a run button. Um, I personally prefer this visual style over um, FF7. Commit to Matthew Wilson. Uh, maybe. It depends. I don't know. Some he doesn't say the um, he doesn't quite have quite the same British slang. Anyway, so we can view some of Faye's paintings here. He tends to uh, draw some landscape, and then he's drawing this uh, weird, weird abstract fire. Yeah, you should be seeing some of the correlations already. Uh, Fei Fong Wong has a lot of uh, similarities to Matthew from, um, from Future Redeemed, and the whole two-war thing that's been going on for longer than anyone can remember. 
cause and K and A, kids love and Ave, Cadmus and Agnes. Yeah, you're seeing some of the similarities already. Anyway, uh, under our bed, uh, we have some hidden money, hidden gold. gold. Uh, we can also rest here. Uh, we don't need that money. And also over here, there's a spider web. We can actually jump up and grab the spider web. I'm just cool. Uh, here there is a maid. Hello, Faye. You're looking well today. My, how time flies. Why, it has already been three years since you came to our village. When they first saw you uh, brought in all bloody and soaking, to tell you the truth, they didn't think you were going to make it. That strange masked man who carried you here that day. Do you really, do you think that maybe he was your real father? Don't you remember anything? Why, they say you had, a ter had terrible nightmares and constantly called out for your father. No. This guy is a pretty different mask than the other one. Jin. Who is it? Who are you? What? You want me to look after this boy? Looks a little like Gondor, doesn't he? From um, the future indeed. Now you're so healthy and strong. It's all thanks to our village chief, Lee. My, you should, my, should you be grateful? We've got a bit of an origin story there. Um, anyway, let's go upstairs. Uh, so how's the resolution real quick? Um, here. How's the resolution? Is it really bad or... Because it looks... All right, on my end, the game capture end, it looks fine. But on the YouTube end, it's somewhat see the resemble. Yeah. On the um, on the YouTube end, it doesn't look so good. I don't really know how to fix it. Uh, that's 144. Is there a way I can up that? So on your end? Yeah. Try upping the resolution up to like 480 or 720. Should be better. All right, looks good on your end. Good. Just don't want it to be too blurry. Anyway, uh, got some people up here. Let's go talk to them. Another maid. You know, Faye, I'm sure that our village chief thinks of you as his own grandson. Not having any family for all those years and living on his own for oh so long. That's why he cares so very de uh, dearly about you. Please, never do anything that would break his poor old heart. You promise me that, Faye? Just like in Chrono Trigger, we can move around while people are talking, and if we get far enough, um, we can just ignore them. <laughs> we'll stop talking. Uh, here's the chief. Oh, it's you, Faye. We're in the middle of discussing Timothy and Alice's wedding arrangement. Hey, why don't you bring a girlfriend or two home <laughs> once in a while? Just because you live with an old man like me doesn't mean you have to uh, hold back now, you hear? Why, when I was as young as you are, it seemed like every day I would. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, never mind. Now, we still have important things to discuss, so don't get in the way, huh? Well, get in the way I will. I want to talk to everyone. Yo, hi there, Faye. Uh, sorry for us all using your house like this. But we have to talk about the big day tomorrow with the village chief. Yeah, tomorrow, huh? Your wedding with Alice, now that is a big day. This is Timothy. Yeah, right. It still hasn't hit me as reality, though. Hey, uh, Timothy, I just want to thank both you and Alice. Three years ago, I woke up in this village without a trace of my memory. I didn't know who I was, where I had been, or what I had been doing up until that day. I couldn't recall a single thing. Despite that, you and Alice sympathized with me and encouraged me to go on. If the two hadn't uh, been there for me, I don't know what would have happened. What would have become of me? Timothy, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Now, you and Alice had better live happily ever after. Ah, quit it, will ya? Uh, you don't have to go and get all mushy with me. Anyway, to me it feels like we uh, I've always been friends with you ever since we were kids. And we will go on being friends forever, right? Of course. I'll, I'll, tr I'll try doing the Matthew voice sometimes, actually. Um, oh yeah, Faye, could you stop uh, by and check on Alice? I still have stuff to discuss with my old man and with Phyllis Chief. I'm sure she'll be, ha she'll be glad to have some company. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Anyway, I'll see you later. Oh, and I really am looking forward to the ceremony tomorrow. Uh, who are these other people here? 
It's Timothy's father. Hello there, Faye. Our Timothy is a really a lucky boy to be able to marry such a beautiful girl like Alice. If you uh, come up with some embarrassing tales to tell in your speech. <laughs> Alice's uncle. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. Tomorrow, our little, Al our little Alice is going to become someone's wife. I knew this day would come. This is the worst part of bringing up a little girl. Uh, let's go outside. Oh. So there you are. Faye, I have to talk to you about something. Why, hello there, Dan. You're uh, lovely today. Uh, you're lively today, as you are every day. Dan, don't be so rude. What's this barging in and all? Ah, Timothy's here too. What out, Timothy? Until you marry my sister, you have nothing to do with me at all. I just have some business here with my friend Faye. So anyway, Faye, I, uh, I have something uh, to talk to you about later. What is it, Dan? It sounds serious. Yeah, that's why I can't talk about it here. A certain person listening in who could cause us trouble. It's really important. We gotta talk seriously, one-on-one, -on -one, man to man. I'll be hanging around outside, so I'll see you, uh, you later, there later, okay? Be seeing you, Timothy. Take care of yourself until tomorrow. Those are weird just <laughs> Huh? What's up with him? As of tomorrow, I'm going to be that kid's brother-in-law. Ah, that part isn't going to be no honeymoon. We'll see about that. Dan has one of the creepiest character designs I've ever seen in any character. Well, I'll, I'll show you it when we talk to him again. It's kind of crazy. Wait up the Timothy is the Rhine equivalent to, um, or is there someone else? Uh, kind of. He's kind of the Rhine equ uh, equivalent. Anyway, so now we're outside. We're in the village of Wuhan. Um, so we can talk to, we need to go to Alice's house, as Timothy said. We go, uh, visit Alice, and then also we need to talk to Dan. Uh, let's go find... I'm trying to get used to these controls again. The controls are a little bit weird. It's hard to explain, but... PS1 controller. It's a little bit weird on here. I'll get used to it. Alright, look at Dan's character design. So, his hairline is receding like an old man, and from like the top of his head to his eyebrows, he looks like an old man. And yet, from his eyebrows down, he looks like four years old. It's the creepiest thing. I don't know who approved this. It's a really strange character design. Anyway. anyway. Oh, good, Faye. You ready to talk? As you know, tomorrow is finally the day of my sister's wedding. So what I want to talk to you about is exactly that. Alice's marriage. Faye, to be perfectly honest with you, I've always wished you could have been my brother. It's still not too late. You could go steal Alice and run, run off with her. If you need me to help, I'd, I'd be glad to. It may be odd for me to say this, but my sister's beautiful and a good cook. And this is just between you and me, but she's well endowed, too. <laughs> so weird. I hate them. I'm not a big fan of them. That's gonna be maybe a running theme sometimes. Um, so come on, let's go for it. That's crazy. Uh, we'll be nice to him. Let's do it. Alright, Dan, you've got it. I guess I'll, I'll just go sweep Alice away and make a run for it. I can't do the math, you boys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop now. Really? I knew I liked you, Faye. That's the spirit. But, if only it was that easy. It's not like we can change their feelings. And you need to have- and you need to have love for her, too. But, I'm not gonna forget this, Faye. You were really willing to go that far to help me. Faye, you're a good guy. Well, at least we cheer her up. Uh, we can go to Alice's house right now, but I'm gonna- I'm gonna go around and talk to some people. Uh, right. Yo, Faye, Alice has sure gotten pretty, huh? Come to think of it, Alice, Timothy, and you were always together. But you also had a crush on Alice too, eh? Am I right? <laughs> He's walking with his dog. I believe all the animals of this world make noises. One wasn't uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually no way to speed up text in this game. So um, this is the general store, although they don't have uh, much of a selection. But then again, we're out in the country, so we can't complain too much. Uh, well, let's stop by. We don't really need anything from it right now. Yeah. Just because Alice is getting married doesn't mean you have to be sad. 
way, when I get bigger, I'm going to be your bride. Will you wait for me? Sure, Owen. Really, you mean it? And cross your heart. Hope to die. Stick a needle in your eye. It's all set then. Our burning love uh, has been tied by unbreakable bonds. Good to know, kid. And the kid is also running the um the general store. Oh hi, Faye. Welcome. The big day's finally approaching, huh? Alice and Timothy's wedding is tomorrow. Hey, how about getting uh, them a stamina drink of courage and love? What do you think? Come on, you've got to uh, get them a present here. We're the only shop in town, you know. <laughs> uh, so you can buy some stuff. Uh, Aqua souls are your basic healing items in this game. You have Rose Souls, which are restore EP. It's effectively this game's MP. Um, Omega Souls, which restore both of those to full, and then Survival Tents, which restore the party's uh, the whole, whole, whole party's HP and EP, but only at a safe time. So, you know, this is effectively Chrono Trigger, potions, ethers. Um, I guess there really isn't a good with this. Um, Omega Souls, and then um, shelters. We don't really need any of that right now. I'm not going to need it for a little while. Thanks again. Good. Okay, we have some other people we can go talk to outside. Stamina drinks, Yakuza. More Yakuza. Uh, hey guys. Lately, my legs have gotten weaker. It's causing me a great deal of trouble. I would like to go and have Dr. Uzuki uh, take a look and see if he can, he can help me. But it's a tremendous task to go up that mountain path to visit the doctor. It must be getting old. Uzuki. That doctor is eccentric. Why else uh, would anyone live on a live on a mountain peak like that? You should have moved closer to the village. Faye, you're good friends with the doctor. Ask him to move closer to our village for us. Uh, we may go see him later. Uh, hang on, this is a bar. Uh, there's actually a sign outside. Need a sign. Laughing Fox and Piglet Tavern drinks drunk smoke. Young one, beware! I can see it. There is a dark and icy wind that blows where you are going. A wind that nurtures grief and resentment and fighting death from which there is no salvation. No one will be able to escape from it, but you and only you must eventually face up to that dark wind. Just kidding, I've always wanted to try saying that. Did I scare you? I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, he's in every RPG. <laughs> a guy like that. Have you heard the latest rumors? It said that in the Seven Desert of Ave, there is buried treasure all over the place. There's hundreds of people who are trying to strike it rich by digging everywhere. A single strike could make you totally rich. Good to know. Here's the barkeep. Hey, it's Faye. How's it going? Then again, you never... Uh, oh, the guy was continuing. But then again, you never uh, can tell how much of the truth. Yeah, again, like kind of like Chrono Trigger. Um, you'll never know when someone's going to end, so you sometimes walk away on accident. Ain't got any drinks for kids, you know? Come back when you're older, all right? South of here is the Black Moon Forest. If you can make it through there, uh, you'll come to Ave, the great land of fire. I shouldn't be wasting my, uh, my time here in this little country village. Why, I ought, to, I ought to go to Ave and work there. Beautiful women and good liquor. If I work hard enough, I'll be rich in no time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Oh my, welcome, Faye. You want to have some fun? I give you I give the best service in Lahan, you know? Hey, Ellen, quit teasing the innocent kid. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just a joke you brought in. Gee, he's got sharp hearing. Anyway, give me next time, okay, Faye? I'll be waiting. Wow. Uh, all right, buddy. You got a problem with me? <laughs> drinking a big day? How could I not be drinking? Damn it. You got a problem, boy? Drinking won't help matters. Shut up. What would you know? You don't know how I feel. I wouldn't want you to know. Damn it. Oh, wait up, boy. I'll give you this. Take it. <laughs> Me? What is that? I have no use for it. Don't worry about it. Just take it. Nobody knows. The depths of the sea. A tear is shed by a mermaid. It's a big mermaid tear. Pay no attention to the fool, he's always saying all this carefree stuff. In reality, it's an incredibly hard task to get through the Black Moon Forest. I guess it's talking about the other guy. Lots of dangerous beasts and fearsome fire-eating lizards uh, make their home there. It'd be better to, uh, for you to stay away from them. Upstairs. 
wouldn't need anything else if I could only live together with my family, just the three of us. Okay. Men understand something so simple. Uh. And this, I think, comes out on... yeah, Ruth. Hi there, Faye! Did you know that beyond that black forest lies the great kingdom of Ave? It's got a big capital city with lots of people living there. My father is working somewhere in Ave. Soon my father is going to come, uh, come pick mother uh, and me up so that we can all live together in Ave. Oh, father, please come home soon. Let's jump off. <laughs> What's the back entrance? Oh, you talked to the barkeep here. Is anything different? All right, Faye, that's the back door. Go around and uh, come, in, uh, come into the front door. I'm going to try to make it a goal to talk to every NPC because something that all of the Xeno games do, every, every one of the games by Takahashi, they always have really great NPC dialogue. Xeno Gears is no different. Xeno Gears is the one that started that show. Ooh, cow. Alice and Timothy's wedding uh, tomorrow is the talk of the town. I guess it's to be expected, though. It is, one, it is one of life's big, biggest events. The women of the village are born, raised, and married, um, married, and live out the rest of their lives here. There must be some happiness in that, but I've been thinking from time to time. Sometimes I wish I were born a man so I could travel the world and live an ever-changing life. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, that is weird. Ooh, you think so? Maybe I need to rethink this. I think that was an O oh, or something. Uh, Oh, Faye, maybe you can help. Have you seen Dan? Oh, he's just hanging out of, of, about over there. He's thinking about his sister's marriage and doesn't seem to be able to calm down. He likes to talk and act big, but he really is still just a kid. It's kind of cute, huh? Oh, really? I'm a little suspicious, though. Alice was saying she needed him for something. I bet he's avoiding me. Uh, there's a well here. If we jump into the well... Something happens. <laughs> and we get... Phew, that was a close one. The smell is dangerous. Perhaps it's better if I don't go near it again. Well done. <laughs> you found a weird item. Okay. Um, we can open the menu and view our weird items. All the things we, got. we have a spiderweb, we got an eyeball. Oh, that was from the well. And then we got a mermaid here. So. Some stuff here. Check our status as well. Um, see all of our stats here. Uh, we have we equip a weapon. We have three accessories um, and gear. Skills, abilities, equip. Almost done. Uh, yeah. No, no! Don't waste perfectly good food like that. Oh, I Stop pushing. Stepped on their food, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. <sighs> oh, it's you, Faye. What do you want? Finally, at my age, I've become able to live in peace. At this rate, I'll probably live to be a hundred. <laughs> this is the village consultant's house. He can teach you all kinds of things. Before you, uh, you step outside of our village, it might be wise to stop by here for some advice first. So this is kind of the equivalent of that one house in Chrono Trigger. And speaking of Chrono Trigger, look who it is! You recognize this person. It's Luca! Oh, good, good! You're lucky! You came just at the right time! If it's about the memory cube, then don't hesitate to ask me. No one knows better than I do. How about it, then? Want to hear me out? So, yeah. Xenogears... <laughs> Xenogears, um, was made by a lot of the same team that developed Chrono Trigger. And in fact, this is part of the interesting development history I wanted to talk about. Um, Xenogears was originally intended to be a sequel to Chrono Trigger, until they eventually canceled that idea. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, good show. That's the spirit. You're pretty smart for an artist. Now open up those ears and carve every word I say into that tiny brain of yours. I'll begin by explaining how to save your adventure. Normally, you can open up the menu screen by uh, pressing the square button. From there, you can select the file option and simply follow the directions to save. However, when you are in a town or a dungeon, uh, you can only save at designated memory cube areas. Without a cube, you cannot save.
So we got long story short, this bobbing us if anything is memory cube, right, David? So how, well, so what do you think? You understood everything perfectly then. Well, okay, well, I, I got a, what? You didn't understand. Oh, gee, well, all right, let me explain it once more. All right, this time, make sure you're listening. Though. This spinning and bobbing thing here is the memory cube that I just spoke about. Fearlessly stand on, inside of the, the cube's area and calmly com and composedly uh, open up the, men the menu screen. There you will be able to save into a, a memory file as printable, especially in, in dungeons and other, in other areas. As soon as you see one of these, you should uh, save without hesitation. Okay, so it's a save one. And outside on the world map, you can save anywhere, probably. Uh, if you don't uh, don't want to wind up crying later, make sure you save frequently. Cool. And it goes back to regular size. So. I always find it weird that these things are called memory cubes, um, and yet they're not cubes at all. <laughs> well, even a two-year-old uh, two Dungarian monkey um, can understand my fantastic explanation one to, uh, one to 20%, right? <laughs> I'm such a genius. All right, now for the explanation fee. This uh, 28 gold. 20 gold is a bargain, considering you were able to receive such a perfect explanation from likes of me. You charged me after the fact? 20 gold taken from you. Yes, thank you so much. No, uh, no receipts given, though. So let's go ahead and uh, save our progress. The old PS1 memory cards. Alright. Let's see the other people here. Did you know that you, uh, you can spin the world around with the L and an R1 buttons? What do you know? You do that the whole time. Spin the world by using your own eyes and ears. This is how you uh, make the games in real life. Loss and be lost. There's no need to rush, is there? Or do you have to uh, to explore the world using someone else's mouse? Hmm. Good day, I'm the village consultant. I have to tell you the truth, the village chief knows far more than I do. However, the chief is an awfully busy person, so I have been placed in charge of answering some of the more mundane questions. As a special for this week, we are lecturing on the techniques of martial arts. Self-defense. Uh, wouldn't you like to learn about it? So, there's all this. Um, just explaining the battle system. Nothing now. I'll be able to explain it a little better later. Once we actually get into battle. When it comes to fighting techniques, I tend to be extremely fussy. I've started uh, to study up on them recently. How about it then? Want to hear what I have to, I've got to say? And he explains some other battle system stuff. Forget it. Oh well, you can never be, uh, be too well to study. There are mountains of uh, things to learn about out there, youngin. Cool. Hope I'm not interrupting. There you are. Hey, Malik. Uh, you can probably go a little back in the video if you want to catch up in the story or whatever. Um, I'm just exploring Lahan. Uh, you see anything? Welcome to the village of La- Oh, it's you, Faye. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We already consider you a proud member of the Lahan community. So, how about finding a wife and settling down in our village, too? Sure, if you uh, live a, a peaceful life here, your memory will be, will be bound to come back one day. You have a natural ability to paint and to do martial arts rather well, I hear. And it's uh, because your body remembers these things. You'll be able to breathe a sigh of relief when your memory returns to you. Don't you worry, I'm sure it will. We have retrograde amnesia, it seems. Um, I don't remember anything from our past. I guess before that masked man brought us to the village. Oh, hello there, Fane. Come to think of it, it's already been quite a while since you, uh, since you first came to our village. I take it you still don't remember anything prior to your coming here, though. Must be terrible not knowing your true identity and all. I'm sorry, I'm being rude. Please don't take it uh, the wrong way. Matthew, an artist, yeah. Um, didn't really describe that of Matthew, but describe that of Faye, at least. There's a strange question. Let's really see. Uh, there's one more house I want to visit. I'm trying to find it from me. So, this is the chief's house. That's the general store. Over there was the tavern. That's the consultant. Uh, there's one more house I want to visit. There's this one, but... No, oh, that's Alice's house. Okay, this is the one I do want to visit. So, I'll say this. Um, there are a list of things that you do want to do. Um, it's not Malik Minato, but it's good. Um, there are a list of things that you would really want to do while you're in Khan Village that you can never come back here and do again. So it's one of those kind of RPGs. Um, so getting like the, mem the mermaid tier is one of them. You can't get that later. Uh, the spider web, like weird items like that. The eyeball from under the um, under the well. So the list of things here that you want to do now is you can't do it later. 
Uh, my husband's love for the rock, paper, scissors, or RPS game is ruining us. Just recently, he even said he had a dream of receiving the hero title from the RPS king. If only someone could utterly, utterly defeat him to make him see reality. He's just so good. Uh, let's see about this. Yo, you want to play rock, paper, scissors? It's 50 gold per challenge. So this is one of the most annoying parts about 100% of the game in this game. Um, you have to do this. <laughs> we'll give it a try. Yeah, that's the way, Faye. If you manage to beat me five times in a row, I'll give you a special reward. So this is complete luck. Um, <laughs> this is much easier with save states. I've been here for um, quite a while before. Need some kind of risk to, uh, to make things interesting uh, against such an amateur. Here we go. One, two, rock. Oh, you did rock two? Not bad, not bad. Let's do it again. One, two. Scissors. Hey, you were late, you cheesy cheater. Only cowards do that. The penalty is 15. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're late, you also have to give up more gold. You can be here for a while doing this. Paper. Okay. Scissors. No. Okay, he's about to do rock again. He's about to do rock again. Here's time to do the paper. Oh! Rock. Ah, no. Nah, are you serious? Yes, I win. Ha ha ha. Yeah, you can be here for a while, just continuously losing gold until you get something here. Do you think that's to be the RPS game? Um, his visions. Yeah, uh, I only have 207 gold, so I'm probably not going to be able to do this anyway. Um, but, you can be here for a little while facing him over and over until you get a reward. Um, the reward is part of the 100%. I think this is going to be the only thing in 100% completing this game that I'm not going to do. Because I don't want to spend that much time doing um, yeah, it. Here's the basement. You have Apothecary? What are you? Um, well, if it isn't Faye, isn't it exciting to know that Timothy's wedding is going to be tomorrow? I think it's time you found a wonderful girl like Alice herself. Everyone's saying that. The way, Faye. What do you think of Lahan? I like it. It's a pretty, pretty cozy town. Everyone kind of close to each other. Everyone knows each other. Oh, Han, I like it. The village leader, Chief Lee, has taken such good care of me. Everyone in the village has warmly accepted me. Regardless of where I may, be may have been born and raised, Lahan is now my home. Oh yes, it makes me happy just to hear that. Here, take this as an allowance. Don't squander it all at once. Okay, well I guess I can go face the guy again. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you were to choose, let's say you were to choose a rock every time, it's a one in three chance that you'll win. Um, let's say, all right, yeah. One in three, if it's like a one in three chance, then one in three to the fifth hour is your probability of being able to get it like five times in a row. So it's not, not very likely. All right. Rock, paper, and scissors. All right. I'll leave it up to y'all. Should I do the? Should I try to go for the reward or not? No. Okay. Fair enough. I'll save my money. So let's go progress this thing. We need to go talk to. Him. Why, well, hello, Faye. Are you here to see Alice? Actually, it's customary that we don't let any men to, uh, in to see the bride today, but you can be an exception. You know you won't come out in one piece if you try to pull a thing on the bride. Fair enough. Right, this is Alice's house. And you. Alice's aunt. Why, hello, Faye. Have you come to visit our Alice? She's upstairs right now. Doesn't time fly? It's already been ten years since my brother and his wife passed away. We did our best to raise the two children in their place. Now, as far as Alice is concerned, I can finally say my job is done. I know Timothy will take good care of her from now on. Now all that's left is Dan. I'm going to have a hard time raising him to adulthood. Uh. So yeah, we get a bit of war there. Um, we saw Alice's uncle in the chief's house earlier. Uh, so Alice and Dan's, um, brother and sister, Alice and Dan's uh, parents died. Uh, 
a little while ago. And then Green Ray Spider and Mug. Let's go see Alice. Hello, Alice. Is that your wedding dress? Oh? Faye, you startled me. Yes, it is. I just finished it. It took more work than I expected. Hmm. You did a great job there. You look wonderful on you, Alice. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Faye? Hey, Alice? What is it? Oh, nothing. I see. Um, oh yes, that's right. Faye, have you seen Dan? Yeah, he's outside, bragging as always. Ugh, that kid! I just told him that I had an errand for him to run. Oh yeah? What kind of errand? It's for my wedding ceremony tomorrow. I was hoping you could go, you go b and borrow a camera and some lights from Dr. Uzuki up on the mountain path. That's all it is. I'll, I'd be glad to do it for you. Could you? Oh, but I couldn't possibly. Don't worry. It's no problem. Anyway, it doesn't exactly make me feel comfortable having Dan handle such delicate instruments. What's more, I might have a chance to eat some of Yui's cooking if I go into doc, the doc's place. <laughs> That's my fave. Well, I'll go up there now and get, and get them for you. Oh, fave, wait. Huh? Something else you want to, me to get from Saiten? No, it's not that. Hey, have you ever thought about things this way? If... If you had only been brought... Been, if you had only been born in this village, if we only... If we had only known each other earlier on... No, that's nothing. I'm sorry. Well, I think I'd better get going now. Oh, okay. Be careful on that mountain path. Give my regards to Dr. Yusuke. Is this fate? I feel so foolish. Who am I kidding? Having some second thoughts about the marriage. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Who would Alice be close to in the other Xeno games? Um, not sure, actually. Not sure there is a there's a clear parallel. We'll we'll see what happens to Alice and Timothy later. But anyway, so we got to go up to the mountain peak and go talk to Doctor Uzuki. We heard about Doctor Uzuki from. from Couple people a little while ago. Mountain path ahead. Beware of the HP gobbling hobgobs. Those wishing to see the doctor on the mountaintop sh uh, should proceed with courage and conviction. We'll see. In what way do you mean it's like Secret of Mana, by the way? It's been a little while since I played Secret of Mana. I do not remember its story, but there could be some similarities. I'm not sure. Anyway, we have random battles. Um. Into the battle system, we have the normal RPG um, options. We have attack, defend, we have chi, which is like a special, um, special attacks, and we can use items. So in that respect, it's very much like every other RPG. But where it gets different is when we press attack, put into this animation here, you can see uh, we can press triangle for one point, uh, square for two points, and uh, X for three points. Best way I can describe the Xenogears battle system is it's like if you took a turn-based RPG and combined it with a traditional fighting game. That's then you get Xenogears. So we have you can see at the bottom we have three out of three. That means we have three AP or points to spend. Um, action points, AP. And we can uh, and we can have three AP to spend each turn when we attack. So we can use that to do three um, triangle moves, which are three like light attacks. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Those are three weaker attacks. Kill the enemy. Oh, there's more over there. Um, we can do a medium attack with square and then a uh, triangle attack. 
now be free. I'm down will attack. I've got um, a habit of absorbing your HP. Or you can do a strong attack with this, and I'll use all of that. So, add those options. There's a whole system behind which one you got Hob Jerky here, that's a healing one. Uh, there's a whole system behind which moves you want to use when. Um, and I'll explain that more when we actually get to use the full extent of that system. Um, but for right now, all I'm you're gonna all, you're gonna see me like trying to mix up which like combinations of moves I will do. And there's a use for that that once again, I will explain later. Um, Dr. Uzuki's house is over the bridge and up to the north. All right, well, we're not going to go over there yet. There's a kind of a detour we can take over here. So, one of many complaints I have about Zeno Gears' game is that this game's random encounter rate is very, very high. Almost excruciatingly hot. We got kind of lucky there, but you'll see later on. We'll have to, like take two steps and then get into a battle. It's not. And part of the reason for that is that the game's code counts turning the camera as a step. Like, whereas most games with random encounters will try to space the random encounters out, like based on the number of steps you take. Well, Xenogears has the same process, but they count each each turn of the camera as a step. So you can stand in one place, keep turning the camera, and get into a random a random encounter like just standing still and not get anywhere. Dude, an aqua soul from that chest. Um, yeah, it's not great, and especially yeah, Yakuza Five encounter. Right? Um, especially when we start getting into dungeons, it's not the best. One thing, I, um, I said I'd be mixing up combos I do, but one consistent thing you're going to see me do pretty early on is I'm going to be starting basically every combo I do with a triangle. And there's a reason for that. Again, I'll get into that later. Um, because we can't unlock the full extent of the system quite yet. But there's a reason why I'm picking certain combos over others. Level up there. And I'm probably going to want to heal up a little. Um, we do have some abilities we can use. We have Chi abilities. Um, we only have one right now that uses uh, two EP in battle. I guess I can show this off in the next fight. Uh, it's called Guided Shot. You can shoot a Chi Blast. Um, I'll just use I'll use one of these hob jerkies. These hob jerkies basically they heal the same as an aqua soul. You get them from eating hob jobs. So heal up. Um anyway, so let's here. Oh, we got a kid here. Oh, it's you, Faye? The cliff's edge collapsed from the heavy rain we had recently. You're all right, Faye. You can, oh, you can get a, you can do a big jump to get across it. But I'm too scared. It's easy. Watch me. Say hello to the doctor for me. Okay. That did the trick. And I'm over here. I missed the chest. All right, I'll go back. What's a couple more enemies to get in there and back? Uh, yeah, so here's Guided Shot. It takes 2 EP. We have 11 EP in here. I just found that animation to be a little weird. It's like... I think it's like he tried to charge up the shot, but he just, like, fires it out like a cannon. It's a little weird. Okay, I can just go down here and get my chest. Or enemy time. <laughs> Anytime you stop randomly. Yeah, and then. Sometimes that screen breaking animation when you go into an enemy encounter is uh, kind of startling. 
do some X attacks. Chess was a trap. There are some of those in this game. There will throw more enemies on you in the chest. Yeah, the, the encounter rate is one of many problems I have with this game's um, this game's gameplay, but it's just something you gotta deal with. Let's fight to Dr. Uzuki's house. Let's go. Can't believe we made it to Dr. Uzuki's house without um, any more encounters. I love the design of Saiten Uzuki's house. His name, his first name is Saiten. I think we heard that from one of the NPCs. It's so like crazy and eccentric. It kind of fits like the, the feel of like an eccentric doctor living on his own up in the mountains. Injured, sick, all accepted. Come on in. No deceased, please. So we got a view over here. No encounters while we're here. These chickens make the most bizarre sound. It's like a weird throttle. I don't know what that is. Anyway, inside. It's a. I like the design of this. It's like metal mixed with like wood and like brick floors. It's like kind of gives the feel of like this eccentric person's house. It's like kind of mismatched. That's it's cool. Yui, which is Saiten's wife. Fay, welcome. Hello, Yui. Where's Doc? <laughs> this is the greatest line in video game history. So, yeah. my husband is tinkering with his junk out in the backyard. So, this brings up something. <laughs> because this line is brilliant. Um, so... <sighs> uh, uh, is right. Um, Xenogears' English translation was done by one man. And keep in mind, when fully written out, Xenogears is a long game. Xenogears is a 70-hour game. It's a 70-hour RPG. It's about twice the length of Final Fantasy VII. When fully written out, Xenogears' text is the same length as, like, a Tolstoy novel, a Leo Tolstoy novel. <laughs> yeah, out of context, but it's right. One man did it all. A guy named Richard Honeywood. And the story behind it is later on in the game, in Xenogears, there are a lot of religious references in this game. There's a lot of religious, like deep religious context in this game. There are names that refer to Christianity and there's a lot of that, right? We'll get into that much later. There's a lot of, there, there was some talk among the English translation team when Xenogears was being developed that it would cause some controversy whenever Xenogears was released in the West, because the West is a thing about Christianity, obviously. Um, and because of that, um, all but one of the, the English translation team dropped out. They didn't want to be involved in the controversy. So it was all up to one man, Richard Honeywood, to translate this entire game. And honestly, for being one man, he did a really damn good job. For the most part, the dialogue in this game is pretty well written. A little on the nose sometimes, pretty well written overall. But you still get some stinkers every now and then. <laughs> Just like this one. And we'll be seeing one at some point in a little while too. Depends on if we get there today. Um, yeah, he's goaded. <laughs> I should have guessed. Doesn't he ever get sick of playing with that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> just go with it. <laughs> well, okay then. I'll go back out into the backyard and see if I can find him. Yeah. I'll be honest. This Xenogears is never going to get remade. But if it did, they need to keep that line in there. Because it's just a meme in the community. It's so good. Hi, Midori. It's a nice day to, uh, to play outside. How about we feed the birds later? Midori is silent. Uh, let's try to go up the stairs here. Some more birds here. Let's fly off. Oh, chicken! 
<laughs> screaming sound. Red FF7. Uh, yeah, the FF7 original script is also not great. Um, the, and to be fair, I'll be fair to Xenogears. There's a lot, a lot of RPGs that were released around this time had some English translation qualms. Um, FF6 also comes to mind. Um, the original Chrono Trigger script is also not super great either. Um, but Xenogears, it gets it right most of the time, especially for as heavy and complex of a story as it is. It gets it right most of the time, but we'll get to some things. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to some, some stinkers. Uh, so I guess this is like Saiten's room, like observatory of, of sorts. He's a big satellite. Not sure what he's using the satellite for, but look out. I guess we can't do anything. Alright, kanji on the wall. Go out in the backyard. He's tinkering with his junk. Where are you, Doc? What's going on? Oh, this is no good. Why do they use such inferior parts? This is why their intervention strat. Doc, so that's where you were. Oh, Faye, good to see you. All right, Doc. What are you doing all the way up there? I thought I would try to restore this land crab. Oh, and that explosion was nothing to worry about. That happens all the time. <laughs> Could you wait a while? I'm, I'm just about to be ready to call it a day. Oh yes, there's something interesting in the storeroom. I'll take a look. Okay, Doc, I will. But please hurry up. I'll get dark before you know it. Shulk? Nah, not quite. So, this is what Doc was talking about. Let me see. What's so interesting about it? Music. I've heard it somewhere before. What do you think? Not bad, huh? Doc. Hello again, Faye. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Music is a mysterious thing. Sometimes it makes people remember things that they do not expect. Any thoughts, feelings, memories, things almost forgotten, regardless of whether the listener desires to remember them or not. Doc, what is this? It was excavated from some old ruins and is still under repair. Obviously, it is an audio device of some kind. Long ago, people would listen to this melody, just as we are doing now. At times, they would have been cheered up. Well, at times, they would have been able, they, they would have been made to cry. By the way, what brings you here today? Oh yeah, that's right. Alice asked me to borrow some camera equipment for you, from you. Oh yes, your wedding is tomorrow, right? Understood. Oh, we had better get re them ready then. Oh, and dinner should be ready soon. Would you like to join us? Why ever? I was hoping you would ask. I still have some cleaning up to do out here. Would you mind giving Midori some company back in the house? Okay, take your time, Doc. I'll go ahead and eat when dinner is ready. <laughs> go right ahead. But I will not be held responsible if you get a stomachache from eating up my wife Yui's cooking. Doc, I feel strange when I listen to this music. I feel something warm inside. It just may be because you have someone living inside of you. And he too must have liked this music a long time ago uh, before he became part of you. Let's 
to the analysis wedding really tomorrow. It might actually be better uh, be better to live an ordinary life in this condition as a son of man. Well, anyway, suppose I'd better uh, adjust the gyro at least. Cannot be. Is is this an omen? Now, what is going to happen? Yeah, music can be used for an off seeing. It's true. Mmm, that was good. Your cooking never fails to impress me, Yui. Thank you for such a delicious meal. You're welcome. If you like my cooking that much, then I'd be happy to cook for you any time, Faye. I will bring the equipment you need to the village tomorrow morning, myself. It does not exactly make me feel comfortable to have you handle such uh, delicate instruments, I am afraid. Where have I heard that line before? That's all right by me. Well, see you tomorrow, Doc. Good night, Yui and Dory. Good night. We're looking forward to tomorrow's wedding. Well, good night, Doc. Yes, good night. Oh, Faye, please be careful. Uh, I mean, the path is dangerous when it is so dark. What's wrong, Doc? There's nothing to worry about. Well, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. No random encounters on the way back down. <gasps> What's that? Giants. Hey, Doc! Some flying objects went toward Lahan. So you saw them too. Judging by their shadows, they appear to be a group of gears from our neighbor country, Kitla. Kitla. Those were gears. Oh no! They are headed directly for Lahan. The ones I just saw. Let us make haste. Right. Decepticons? No! Well, Hans! Alice! Timothy! Dr. Uzuki! Faye! Doctor, they just came out of nowhere and landed r right in our village. I know. What on earth are they doing starting a battle here? Are you all okay? Yes, but it's Dan. I can't find him. I'll go look one more time. Alice, go ahead and get out of the village. No, Timothy, wait. You, Alice, and the rest of the villagers should evacuate to a safer location. Doc, you know I can't just leave Dan behind. Timothy. I understand how you feel, but leave the rest up to fan me. 
primary thing you should be concerned with is your own safety. Timothy, your responsibility is to protect Alice. What? It's just as Doc says. The two of you should get should get out of the village now. Don't worry about Dan. Knowing him, he has already evacuated and wait, is waiting for you. I guess you're right. Okay, Alice, let's let Dr. Uzuki and Faye handle it from here. Yes, okay. Thank you, Doctor. But Faye, please look out for Dan. Yeah, don't worry. He still happens to be in the village. I'll be sure to save him. Now, both of you, hurry. I will go check inside the houses to see if it, there is anyone left behind. Faye, please go around the village and guide the stragglers to a safe location. All right, but Doc, you be careful, okay? You too, Faye. Huh? Faye? Wait, Faye! Do not do this, Faye! You must not fight here! Faye! Domestic modifying on over. Identified? Lamb, Ignis Dialog. No piloting experience. Easy mode set. Synchronizing input interface with pilot's normal reflex time. Warning to pilot. Combat move. Now to enter combat. 1200 units of fuel left. Utilize command ring in the upper uh, left or left of the screen to select attack. Then, triangle, uh, um, square, and X buttons to uh, commence auto attack sequence. Power and fuel usage uh, difference with type of attack. Uh, triangle 10, square 20, X30. Charge restores 30 fuel units. Warning. Enemy, uh, enemy gears are now preparing to attack. Terminating help. Okay, so now this is our first example of gear combat. Um, it's not a great time to really talk about everything gear combat can do. Uh, we're just going to go and attack the But similar to ground combat, we can do triangle, square, and X attacks. But we also have fuel to worry about. Um, so Xenogears technically has two different battle systems. There's ground combat and gear combat. These are Musha Mark 10, or Musha Mark 100s. A square attack. Uh, unlike ground combat, though, we cannot combine attacks into combats. We do one per turn. For now. Attacks keep missing. There we go. Level 
five. Reinforcements, huh? Right, too. Damn it. How many of them are there? Guess there's no choice. Let's fight. Screen. Faye, the way you are fighting. Oh no, this is not good. If he awakens here, Doc, Dan, are you all right? What on earth are you doing here? Do you, not, uh, do you not know how worried Alice and Timothy are? I'm sorry, Dr. Ruzuki. I, I got out of the village earlier, but I came back. I just couldn't bear to think of leaving my sister's wedding dress behind here. Return to save your sister's wedding dress. <sighs> You're such a sentimental little boy. Let us evacuate to a safer spot while Faye has their attention. Here's that they are after that gear thing, is it? Huh? Hayes? Inside that monster? Faye is bound to the dark, cruel destiny of God. Faye? Come on now, Dan. We better get away from here. Dad! I knew you were still in the village. Boy, I'm glad you're okay. Huh? Oh no! Timothy! Ugh. Wait! Don't shoot! Stop it! These people have nothing to do with you! Timothy! Out of the way, you bastards! Stop it! I said stop it! Huh. 
Where am I? Doc! Oh, you have finally gained consciousness, Faye. Doc, what happened? Where's Chief Lee? Timothy? Alice? What did I... Yes. Oh, that is... You murderer! Dan! Dan, what do you mean? Faye... It's because you had to get in that monster. Alice and Timothy, the people of the village are all... You killed everyone using that monster! Why did you have to fight in the middle of the village? How do you even know how to operate such a monster? Mother? Where are mother? See, I told you so. I said allowing someone we knew nothing about into our village would spell disaster. Ow, hurts, it hurts. Dan! Yikes! No, keep away, I'm scared. Murder. My sister. Give me back my sister. Dan? There's nothing to be gained from putting all the blame all on Faye alone. What is more, you know Faye had no control over the malfunction of that gear. I... I know that! But... But... I hate you! Ah, Dan! It might be better if we left him by himself for a little while. He does not know what to do with his grief, his anger. And Faye, it may be a good idea for you to leave this place. There is no guarantee that reinforcements from yesterday's unit are not going to come. They will probably want to know what happened to their comrades. Also, if you stay here, I do not think the atmosphere is going to be very joyful, if you know what I mean. It's probably best for both you and all the other villagers here. Yes, you're right. This disaster happened because I was here. But what am I supposed to do now? Yes, well, why not go through the Black Moon Forest and head for Ave? I'm sure those soldiers from yesterday were not from Ave. If you can manage to get to the Ave side, they will not be able to track you down very easily. Okay, I understand, Doc. Well, anyway, please take care of the rest of the things here, Doc. Of course. Well, do you take care now. You killed everyone with that monster. Murder! My sister! Give me back my sister! So there are definite similarities to the opening of Xenoblade 1, the attack on Colony 9. Um, of course, Faye is the cause, so to speak, of the destruction of Lahan rather than the mech on themselves, or the gears themselves. Um, we're now back on the world map, and we can go back to the mountain path. If we want to, we can go back up to... Um, Saiten's house, but there's not really a reason to do that right now. We'll let you listen to the world map. It's a very, very good song. Until we get into a battle, anyway. Okay, little cobalt. 
These are bow and arrow wielding monsters. All right, so now you can see with uh, the level up we got while fighting in the gear, we can now we had now a four AP, so we can now do say triangle into X. We do more with our turns than we could before. Got a fencing cap. This pass is a little closer to specific Metal Gear Solid character. Maybe. I haven't played Metal Gear. Um, we go to equipment really quick. We may be able to equip that trunk. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, increase our defense by one? Sure. Um, Faye doesn't use a weapon, he uses this. This is a great song. Um, it goes by several different names depending on the translation of the soundtrack, but, um, Emotions is one of them. Uh, usually it's under the name Emotions. But anyway, here's the Black Moon Forest. So the Black Moon Forest is the first case of one of my one of my smaller complaints with this game. Which is, as much as I like being able to turn the camera, I certainly like it more than in Final Fantasy VII, where you couldn't do that. Uh, Lightning Force is one of those areas where there are trees and things that will uh, impede your vision if you turn it certain ways. So it's worth... Um, yeah, it, it can be a little confusing to go on. Really, FF16. Uh, I am not familiar with the story of FF16, but I would like to play it eventually. Uh, what is this thing? Didn't get to see it. Some sort of hard skull armor grab. Those are the armored frogs from Earth. I don't know why that came to mind, but sure. Uh, so we can now do four triangle attacks in one. Not quite able to pierce its armor. Let's try using uh, our guided shot. There we go. A biz fruit from that. Let's check out what a biz fruit is. It restores 10 EP, so it does the same thing as a, uh, as a rose soul does. Hobgob here. Let's go chase it. No, come back. Get back here. This is one of the few times you can get a um, a force battle battle rather than just a random battle. Fight some hobgobs. All right. Now I'm gonna try to do this um, this triangle into X combo. Fight. Hopefully, pretty soon you'll be able to see. There's a specific reason I'm doing this one. Hob jerky? Ain't no way. I guess there was a um, there was a random battle at the same time as the um, force battle. Well, right, we can fight some more. Yeah. Yeah, that's Xenogear in a nutshell. That's that kind of stuff's gonna be happening a lot. There are times when literally I get out of one battle, turn the camera around to kind of reorient myself, figure out where I am, and then by the time I'm done doing that, I didn't turn. It. That happens quite a bit. Trust me, the story of this game makes it all worth it. <laughs> Oh, 
four Hobjorky there. I'm going to chew on one of those. Save with this memory cube. I am not familiar with that game. I gotta mention it. blocking a boulder. Hmm. Down on your buttons. Is that, um, is that a fighting game? I know there are some fighting games from Black and White it's called Hyper Dimension. Dino Gear's battle system is where fighting games and RPGs meet. It's a pretty cool concept, not gonna lie. Um, conceptually, it's cool. I just wish there weren't so many random numbers. As that boulder rolls down. Throw down your weapon. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. <sighs> turn around. I said turn around. Are you shaking? Be quiet. You don't seem to be one of the Kislev soldiers who are after me, but... Don't move! I have orders to kill all service dwellers, lambs, I come into contact with. It's part of my mission, something personal. I have a question for you. How do I get out of this forest? Are you... Lost? Just answer my question. How do I get out of here? Sorry, but I'm looking for the way out of here too. Oh. How long are you just going to stand there like that? If you're, go if you're going to shoot me, then hurry up and do it. What an odd thing to say. Don't you understand the situation you're in? I don't care about my situation. I'm just a guy whose life is worthless. There's no point in li me living anyway. S stay back! What are you aiming at? Here! Shoot me here! Come on. Are, are you mocking me? You're weird. What is very wrong with you? You should at least resist a little bit. What's this? Who are you? Ugh. Stop. Keep your hands off of Ellie. I just suddenly knew her name. Yeah, so Ellie is the best character in this game. So, um, that's not, that's not a debate. Not a question. These are forest elves. <laughs> uh, she's also my wife. But, um, yeah, we'll get into that. She's my favorite character. She's one of my favorite video game characters ever. Um... She's awesome. She's amazing. She's wonderful. And, uh, yeah. I'll let you see for yourself. Are you alright? Hang in there!
Good, you finally woke up. You don't move for uh, you didn't move for so long that I started to worry. How are you feeling? You still intend to kill me? Then go right ahead and shoot me. And you better not do it while we're in this forest. The forest monsters hate loud noises, you know? Fine. Don't talk to me if you don't want to. I wouldn't ki kill you to thank me for tending your wounds. Thanks. But you shouldn't have helped me. Don't think it will save your life, though. It really doesn't change a thing. What are you so afraid of? I'm not afraid. I'm just being cautious. Natural for me to be this cautious, considering I've met such a, a suspicious surface-dwelling lamb. Hmm. Don't you worry. I'm not going to do anything. Besides, you're much more suspicious than I am. Huh? So, what's your name? I won't give my name to a surface-dweller, lamb. What are you doing this lamb thing? We're both lost in this forest, surrounded by dangerous monsters. Shouldn't we at least be cooperating with each other until we get out of here? Good. What's your name? It's going to be hard for us to cooperate with one another without at least knowing each other's names. Anyway, my name is Fei Fong Wong. You can call me Fei. I'm Elheim, but my parents call me Ellie. Ellie, huh? Somehow I already knew that. Hmm? Anyway, it's too dangerous to travel in these parts this late at night. Let's wait until daybreak before we continue looking for a way out of here. That's okay with you? We have no choice, do we? Okay then, Ellie. How about having some need? must be lonely here by yourself. Faye. 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 Faye? Are you awake? Now Ellie has joined the party. Check out her stats. She has less HP than Faye. Um, but she has noticeably higher ether. Her defense and kind of physical stats are a little bit lower. She's also only level 3, whereas we're level 6. Uh, and she also has a weapon. She has a magical rod. we will be able to see some of that in battle. Okay, so let me go in from here. This side's up. Half up. Watch the cliffs. Okay. One village. Ave. Where have land do. Uh, land? Landslides, I think. Yeah, okay. Some of these hobgobs we can chase. Oh no! Oh, that was a jump. Okay. This isn't, this isn't exactly the easiest place to navigate, uh, but I would like to get to go get this chest. Uh, not necessarily, actually, our magic person. Um, well, kind of, yeah. 
Um. So that. And there's Ellie. Ellie, as opposed to Faye, who can use Chi, Ellie can use Ether. Uh, her actual physical hits are not as much. She can do the same kind of hits as uh, Faye can. She can only do three AP though. Use the lower level. I think you have to get to level five to be able to do uh, four AP. But we use magic or ether. Sorry. Camera. And that's the thing with uh, Black Moon Forest. Uh, she has supported types of ether she can use: an Animo Bolt, which is a wind attack; Terra Lance, which is an earth attack; Thermo Cube, which is a fire attack; and Aqua Ice, which is a water attack. These are the four different elements in this game. Um, water, fire, wind. They usually. Let's use Animo Bolt. The normal bolt counts as a wind, even though it's a lightning bolt. It's weather related. Okay, so yeah, she is essentially a magic person. But yeah, anyone can use those button combos, even not the magic people. That's what I was trying to say. All right, here we go. Raijin learn. It's interesting. I only got to level up too. So here's where the real extent of Xenogears' battle system comes into play. Got an arcane rod, which can equip that into Ellie. So, yeah. Quick, and I'll explain, um, explain about death blows. So if we go look at base status. Uh, yeah, we can look at skills. So we just learned Raijin. This is under our death blows. We are 88 whatever, whatever units those are, towards Senretsu. Okay. So, these are called Death Blows. This is the crux of the Xenogears battle system, at least the ground battle system. Um, your battles are different. Your battles do not have Death Blows. But for the ground battle system, this is the uh, the crux of the battles. Um, Aqua Soul. Um, Through that tree. I'm gonna show that next time I get into a battle. Here to be able to get back on this. Are there not random encounters here? Seems like there are only these hobgobs. I'll try to fight one of these hobgobs. Okay. So. Let's try using that same triangle X combo again. Raijin powers up, punch, but a lot more damage. As a death blow, so certain combinations of moves, they always end in X, um, will result in a death blow. Uh, I do want to build up some of Ellie's combos. Let's do, let's do that. Actually, it may not be worth doing. Um, but anyway, every death blow ends in X. Right now, there is only one death blow we can possibly learn because we only have four. We can only do uh, the triangle X death. Blow. But over time, we'll get more AP. We'll get up to five AP pretty soon, and we'll be able to mix it up a little bit. We can do other death blows. Uh, so this is why you want to mix up which combination of moves you do. There's actually a whole big process. It's like a system that kind of underpins the game uh, that the game never tells you about, about how you learn death blows. And I'll try my best to explain that later on, um, rather than now. It's actually, there's a big complicated system for how the game, how you learn death blows in this game. Um, it's not worth going into right now, but I will go into it later. Uh, yeah. I may have actually not may not have actually needed that. I'm not sure. Whatever. Uh, oh, there's a random account. Okay. The game was saving it up for me. Got some dive bombers in the trees. Gonna come down in a minute. Um I'm gonna do I'm gonna start doing some square cards and build up to something else later on. Um Yeah. That's that's why. You want to mix up your attacks. Um, 
kind of long story short with the death blows is you are death blows by using different combinations of attacks. It's much more complicated than that, but that's all I'm going to explain right now. <laughs> it looks violent. Um, that's the, the long and short of it is you learn by mixing up which combos. I mentioned Neptunia have attacks that have certain conditions to do more damage. Uh, this is kind of like that. Alright, Ellie. Get him out of here. Who's, uh, who's... Uh, just like any other RPG with elemental systems, there are certain enemies who are um, weaker to other elements. I cannot actually attack them here, so I'm going to have to move back. Um, for example, an attack condition to be used after that. Time. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there may have been some inspiration to Xenogears in Hyperdimension Petunia. Seems pretty similar to what I got seen here. Fey. Yesterday you said your life was worthless. What did you mean by that? Why are you asking? Why? Yesterday you looked like you had a death wish. You think it wouldn't make me wonder? Say, how did you get stranded in this forest in the first place? I should ask you the same question. Huh? Well, I... Uh... I ran away from my village. Well, what's left of it? Village? You don't mean... Han. It's a small village that exists in between this forest and the mountain range. I ran away from there. That village. It's a nice, peaceful village. Everyone there treated me like family. Then last night, a group of gears suddenly uh, suddenly appeared and started running, started fighting right in the middle of the place. The village was engulfed in flames. I couldn't just stand there and watch Lahan be destroyed. I tried to save the villagers. I got in an empty gear, not even knowing how to operate it. I thought maybe I could do it. No, it's more like someone was whispering to me. Someone whispering to me, telling me to do it. But it was a disaster. The village... Was it destroyed by the Kislev army? Hey. No. The village was destroyed. Me. Yes, it was me. I destroyed Lahan. I'm sure of it. What do you mean, you destroyed it? I thought you were trying to help save the villagers. I did try to help. I actually took out a few gears. And I came under heavy fire from a new group of gears. And then my friend, Timothy, was hit by a hail of bullets. I lost it. Everything just went dark. I don't remember anything after that. The year I was in went out of control. Well, that's what Doc said. When I came to the village, everyone in it was... Alice, she was such a... Alice and Timothy. Oh God, everyone. All such good people out of control. The gear. What about the village? Faye? Yes, the gear. Huh? If... Damn them. They're still giving chase. We venture out of the territory. I'm not giving up now. This gear's too important. I stun it. I'm at a disadvantage now. Ben Houghton! What's wrong? Respond! Trapped on my back! My thruster's output is dropping. I can't maintain altitude. Dead. Everyone land now. The group on the ground. We'll have to engage them. They had never come to the village, never started fighting there. And I wouldn't have I've tried to pilot that gear. It was all their fault, not mine. They're the ones to blame. If they'd never come, none of this would have... If not for them, 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 them. Enough of that. You're a coward. Coward? Me? Yes, you're a coward. All you're saying is them, them, them. Don't talk as if you had no part, uh, part of the blame as well. I'm to blame? Yes, that's right. Of 
course, the direct cause of the battle was, not, was that a gear made an emergency landing, landing in the village. But all Kislev wanted was the gear, right? They weren't invading or out to destroy Lahan. The real damage occurred because you climbed into gear and tried to fight back. Whatever made you get into that gear? Not just anyone can pilot them. It takes training. There's no way a civilian could hope to pilot one. Besides, you should have, you should have been helping the villagers flee to safety instead. How can you blame the damage on a gear when, when it was your decision to fight in the, in the first place? Why don't you take some of the responsibility yourself? Why are you putting all your blame on others? That's just running away. That's what makes you a coward. Well, if you put it that way... Yes, that's right. I am a coward. I didn't realize my own strength and have been blaming, uh, and been blaming what happened as a result of that on others. I'm a pitiful excuse for a man. But I just felt this rush of blood in me and I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself or help others. Hey, I'm, I'm... Shut up! What do you know? When I came to, I was surrounded by piles of rubble. I didn't know what had happened or what I had done. I remembered absolutely nothing. All I knew was that my hands were, uh, could still feel what they had done. The only things that penetrated the gear's barriers were screams. Screams accompanied by the stench of blood, the sound of crushing bones, and my own curses. Look, look at my hands. Can you hear their voices? Can you understand this feeling? The feeling of having destroyed your, your village with your own hands not being able to do anything for the children left behind. Now they have nothing. I have nothing. I have nowhere. No one. I didn't want to get in it. I had no choice. There was no other way. Faye's pretty emotionally unstable. That's going to be a kind of a running theme throughout this game is that he is very mentally unstable. He kind of wavers between emotions very quickly without much of a transition in between. Why did I go and say that to him? You talk as if it's not your responsibility. No, I didn't do anything. They died because you had to pilot the gear and start fighting. It wasn't me, can't you understand? Not just anyone can pilot those machines, you know. I didn't do it. Why won't you take responsibility? just happened. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It was all good until then. No. Oh, fuck. No. No. Why are you trying to put the blame on others? I'm sorry about out. that. You talk as if it's not your responsibility. No. I didn't do anything. They died because you had to pilot the gear and start fighting. It wasn't me, can't you understand? Not just anyone can pilot those machines, you know. I didn't do it. Why won't you take responsibility? Okay. Something's going on here. Okay, this may actually not be the capture card. There's a possibility this isn't the capture card. So, quick story. 
I actually have two different copies of Xenogears. The first copy didn't work. Okay. The second copy, I order later, did work. <laughs> That's why I got Xenogears like back in would have been like 2016 or so. And then I never got to finish it until like 2021, until I got another copy. Because Dino Griff's copies are fairly expensive. It's a rare game. So it could be that I'm using the wrong copy. That is a possibility. So, yeah. That's your copy of Brawl. Shoot. Okay. Well, at least I have save data on this PS3. Try off stream. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I have some save data. I can reload the save if that happens. I don't, I don't think this is the capture card because I don't think the capture card would have forced the game to redo that cutscene. I think this is the game, this is the game disc. So I'm going to change out this disc. Technical difficulties. Okay. I'm going to change out this disc with a different one. It was kind of guesswork, which um, which copy of Xenogears I was supposed to use. So I may have guessed wrong. I know the, um, the first disc had something like this happen, where it kind of just froze in the middle of a scene. We're going to try this one. And hopefully, we'll be able to reload right from, like, right before where we left off. Real sorry about this. <laughs> 